Hello again and welcome back to the Lair of Centipedes. Now we have another unboxing to do and it's going to be of some very cool spiders that I have been after for quite a while. Check this out. So what we have here is Typostrola barbata, which is arguably the largest species of huntsman spider in Australia. Now without further ado, let's get them out to get a better look. Now huntsmen are not dangerous of course, but they are rather fast, so a bit of caution is definitely handy in that regard. Now I've actually already taken this spider out in the, um, before I started filming, and I already know what her temperament's like. She's actually pretty chilled out, not very jumpy, not very fast. I mean, she can be fast when she wants to, but uh, she's generally pretty relaxed, so I doubt she's likely to bolt on me. But you can never be too careful. The moment she seems a little bit attached to her packaging. Come on, just come out of here. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. There we go. Let's get the light a bit better. Look at that, that is one amazing looking spider, and this is actually the smaller of the two huntsmen I got today. Now that white band around the eyes is very distinctive of this species, hang on, I'm just trying to keep her in view. And another distinguishing feature is the greenish tinge across its body, which is particularly apparent on the underside, which is what has earned the species Typostola barbata, the common name of green-bellied huntsman. And now that she has settled down and relaxed, though admittedly not in the most comfortable, well, never mind. Ah, oh, I swear this spider only has two modes, either moving around too fast to film or relaxing in an area that is just incon- Oh, actually no, this is this is a good spot now. Oh, pity she didn't- oh, there we go. How many times did I change my mind in that sentence? I'm not even going to bother thinking. But man, that is an amazing looking spider. I'm a big fan of Huntsman, I've kept them a couple times in the past, um, admittedly their lifespans kind of pulled me off at times, but apparently this species is one of the longer lived huntsmen, so that should be good. Hopefully that's right. Anyway, that's it for this spider. Now the enclosures I'm using are definitely temporary because I was going to go out and buy some yesterday and then we had a surprise lockdown announced. But I can't really complain, it's only a three hour lockdown and compare that to the rest of the world. So I'm going to have to go out and buy some enclosures in a couple days time. Um, meanwhile they're just going to have to stay in here. Okay, this probably is not going to be easy because unlike funnel webs, huntsmen can climb very very well. They can jump as well. Um, Look, sorry my lady, I know this enclosure isn't great. You'll only be in here for a couple days, it's just... These lockdowns are out of my control. Again, it's only three days, I really can't complain when I look at the rest of the world. Come on. Just get in there, you're not gonna have to stay in that box for long. I'll get you something better soon, I promise. Now, on to the second and uh, noticeably larger spider. Now, I haven't... I haven't actually taken her out before, so I have no idea what her temperament's gonna be like. Oh well, looks like we're gonna be in for a surprise. Hi. Hello there, sexy. How are you doing? Did I just call the spider sexy? Yes, I promise you it was just a joke. Hmm. 
Yeah, look at that. What a beauty. The real question is, what is she like? All right, she doesn't seem that bad. Maybe a little bit more jumpy than the other one. Oh, just oh, <laughs> okay. Wow, I did not realize how much bigger she was compared to the other female. She's huge. Oh. Found a place to rest, have you? Good. I like you better when you're relaxed. That is a hell of a nice pose there. Well, you are certainly one very photogenic spider. I will give you that. the camera again. I just keep underestimating how far she can reach with those long legs. I wasn't even holding my hand that close to the camera and all of a sudden she's walked onto it. Oh look at that booty. Also getting to the point where some of her um, drag lines of silk are beginning to get tangled around my hand. But no biggie. You really like my camera, don't you? Okay, now much as I would love to film her for longer, I'm going to have to put her away now because, well, my camera is quite close to running out of battery. If you haven't already taken the hints, I wasn't really prepared to film this video at all. So, we'll just get her enclosure ready. Again, a temporary enclosure because thanks to the old lockdown, I haven't been able to get anything that I intended to get. Sorry, my lady, but you will have a better home very soon. She doesn't seem to be... Oh, oh, hey, the camera again. Yep, well, fine, fine. Have one last climb on the camera. There's a good girl. Now, please move your foot out of the way because I do not want to jam that in the lid. Oh, don't you... Don't you come climb out. No, no, no. Oh, I knew it. I knew something like this had happened. I know this enclosure kind of sucks, but you're not going to be in here for long. So just suck it up for now, okay? Excellent. Alright, that's the end of this video. Now this huntsman may be familiar to some of you because every now and then a picture of one of these spiders on a broom that looks really huge due to false perspective goes viral making the rounds all over the internet and in a future upload very soon I will actually be making a video a lot more in depth on these giant huntsman spiders so you can stay tuned for that.
Now, before my battery runs out, I'd better just wrap it up. So yeah, if you enjoy my content, then feel free to check out some of my other uploads and don't forget to subscribe. So thank you all very much for watching. That's it from me and I'll see you again very soon.